Earth's axial tilt would not be what it is today if it wasn't for the stabilising role the Moon plays. And whilst it's not directly responsible for life on Earth, it does foster life-sustaining conditions due to its gravitational effects on the tides that circulate nutrients that nurture the ecosystems. As testament to its many craters, the Moon also plays the role of protector by diverting and redirecting some potentially catastrophic asteroids away from Earth that could have been detrimental to life on the planet. Far from being passive bystanders, moons of the solar system are active participants that can shape the fates of worlds, such as Earth and in some cases may even hold the key in discovering extraterrestrial life. I'm the Cosmic Skipper and today we're exploring moon types and how they provide crucial insights into the history and evolution of the planet they orbit, a key element in understanding the solar system's formation and its planetary systems. In astronomical terms, a moon is defined as a natural satellite orbiting a planet that in turn orbits around the Sun. This hierarchical arrangement is a fundamental characteristic of the solar system and helps scientists structure our observations of the planets whilst formally identifying the 290 moons we have orbiting them. All moons, however, are not born equal, and to help understand these celestial bodies further, science categorises moons into three broadly distinct groups – regular moons, irregular moons and captured moons. Moons that have circular orbits around their parent planet are known as regular moons. These moons are characterised by well-organised orbiting systems with stable and predictable patterns just like the timing and rhythm we witness in our own moon. They are generally large moons and so have a dominant gravitational influence with a tendency to orbit along the equatorial plane of the planet. As such, moons of this type are believed to have formed around the planet earlier in the planet's history. Earth's moon is a notable example of a regular moon, but further afield Ganymede, Europa and Callisto of Jupiter are also classified as regular moons. They are large, gravitationally dominant, exhibiting stable and circular orbits about the equatorial plane of Jupiter. These characteristics define these moons and why scientists believe they formed alongside Jupiter in the planet's early history. Eccentric, highly elongated orbits that are significantly inclined compared to the planet's equatorial plane characterize irregular moons. High inclinations like this is indicative that the Moon and planet did not share the same accretion disk origin, and so irregular moons typically formed separately to the planet. One such moon showing all the characteristics of an irregular moon is Phoebe, a relatively large and strangely shaped distant moon of Saturn. With a highly inclined, elongated and retrograde orbit, scientists believe this moon did not originally form in the vicinity of Saturn. Jupiter's moon Io is gravitationally affected by the complex interactions with other nearby moons and Jupiter itself. These interactions have contributed to its classification as an irregular moon, as they have made the orbit of Io eccentric and highly inclined, which drives Io's most distinguishing feature, its volcanicity. Driven by the eccentric orbit and the varying gravitational forces as the moon gets closer to and further from the planet, Io internally experiences tidal heating, causing the intense geological activity seen on the surface. At just 22.2 km and 12.4 km, Phobos and Deimos, the two moons of Mars, are among the smallest moons in the solar system. At some point in their history, they were wandering the asteroid belt but ventured too close to Mars and got captured by the planet's gravitational pull. At the other end of the scale and at 2,700 kilometers is Triton, Neptune's largest moon. With a retrograde orbit moving opposite to Neptune's rotation, this characteristic is a highly unusual and distinctive departure from the norm. Triton as a result of this retrograde orbit was not originally formed around Neptune but was rather gravitationally captured and due to a composition that is similar to Pluto's, Triton is thought to have been a dwarf planet captured from the Kuiper belt. 
Categorising moon types within the solar system this way has offered astronomers and scientists a systematic framework for comprehending the diversity of moons and how they help shape the planetary systems within the solar system. Thank you so much for watching today's video and if you enjoyed it please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you've not already done so as your support is greatly appreciated.